Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Cody Angeloff versus Evil Mermails, and this is a $50 money match, so the winner of this match will win $50, and the loser will lose $50, and also, uh, if you want to check out the Discord where all these competitive matches I've been posted have been coming from, make sure to check out the Discord near the top of the description, it's called the Coliseum, definitely the best competitive Discord you can find out there for Yu-Gi-Oh! 100%, and then also... Make sure to check out Cody Angeloff's Twitch down below in the description. Uh, definitely make sure to check him out. He streams all the time. Very good player. Currently the NAWCQ National Champion, so obviously he's good. And let's just hop right into the video. And then we are going to see Cody Angeloff win the rock, paper, scissors, shoot. So they can decide if they want to go first or second. And looking at the deck counts, we can see 40 versus 40. Gotta love to see it. And they're going to choose to go second. Opening hand is Bell, Ray, Imperm, Widow, and Ash. So opening up three hand traps going second plus a way to Ray. Extremely good. And they have Ash called by Lulu, Gigi, and Roshi. So this is also good. You definitely can't complain about that hand. So both players opening up good. Normal summon out Gigi. And then they're going to activate Lulu effect. They're going to chain Ash Blossom to that. And then chain called by, chain Bell. And then, so that's going to get negated, and then Roshi effect, target GG, go ahead, dump Chinglong, and then Chinglong effect, that's going to banish, grab Kieran, and then discard the Lulu, Kieran effect, that's going to dump Chinglong and Chuchi from the deck to the graveyard, bring itself out, and then Chuchi up the level of GG, and then overlay for M7, M7 effect, detach GG, add back GG, oh, they're thinking... Yeah, yeah, honestly, they're probably going to improve that. Yeah, they're thinking on M7. Yeah, like 100% actually, you're, you're in, in permanence in that. It's like the GG is so good to summon because like that could equal Shen Shen there. Also, that gives you the add back and end phase for follow-up. Yeah, pass, draw Hornet Drones. And then they're going to go ahead and activate Hornet Drones, bring out a token. And then turn that into a Hayate. And then go battle phase, attack directly with Hayate, and then use the effect of dump. That's going to go ahead and dump from the deck to the graveyard in Afterburners. And then Hayate turn itself into Kagari. Kagari effect, add back Afterburners, and then Afterburners pop M7. Normal summon out Ray, turn those into a Zeke, and then Zeke effect, banish Roshi, and then turn Zeke into a Shiz. And then set widow, and they only have two spells engraved there. And then end phase shiz effect, and then they're gonna chain ash blossom to negate that. And then pass turn, draw city. So this is definitely gonna become somewhat of a grind game, but I think sky strikers are gonna end up winning it. They're just like further ahead here. Bring out Choo Choo with City, and then end phase Roshi comes back off of Zeke, draw Valor, and then get rid of Shiz for Hayate, battle phase, start a battle phase, they're going to Choo Choo, pop Hayate, and then, you know, shuffle back two, pop it, and then Ray effect, bring itself out, and then main phase two, go for Kagari, Kagari effect, and then that's going to add back from the graveyard. Seems like they're thinking pretty hard here. They're going to add back Hornet Drones. Then activate Hornet Drones. Bring out a token. Turn those two into a Hida. Hida, bring out Ash. Normal Summon Valor. So they're only playing... They're only playing one Valor. Otherwise, like, you just wouldn't summon that. You You would just, like... Hita summon, Needle Fiber, Needle summon out Valor from deck, and then Selene access code. Okay, yeah, so they're only playing one Valor in the list. And then make access code, effect, gain 2000 attack. And then effect, pop both cards. And then pass, draw Gamma. They're just going to go ahead and pass there, draw Nib. And then battle phase, poke. Uh, it's only 43, not 53, because it targeted a Hida. But, haha, <laughs> it's your Gamma Driver. 
Yeah, it just it doesn't it doesn't matter. We're gonna go Chinglong effect. Add Lulu from the deck to the hand, and then discard driver, and then just admit defeat. So now moving on to the next game, we are going to go ahead and see Evil Mermails decide to go first. Opening hands, we have Ray, Rose, Strike, Bell, and Nib. So they do have two hand traps, and they have Chinglong, Upstart, GG, Lulu, Desires. So a couple consistency cards. The hand's definitely good. They're going to start off with Desires, Banishing 10. All right, let's see what the draws are. Well, let's see what the banishes are first. Ah, no order. Uh, Sean Wu gone. We do see a couple Lulu and GG. So there's no Lulu or GG in deck. Drawing the Chinglong. Oh, that's good. That's good. I mean, there's no spells here, but that's gonna that's gonna be good still. Then activate Chinglong Lulu effect. Target that, and then go ahead and add Chuchi dump Nian. And then GG effect. Target Lulu. And then they're going to chain bell to negate that because this card does, uh, it can add back from the graveyard during the end phase. So you can bell GG or Roshi's hand effect. And then upstart, draw an anti spell. Not good to draw multiple. Uh, normal summon out, GG, and then Nian bring itself out. Turn those into a Stardust Charge Warrior. Nian 2, Stardust 1, draw Roshi. Let's see what they put back. So they put back a Lulu. And the draw was definitely good there. Then get rid of those. Make Shen Shen. And then Roshi effect. That's going to target Chinglong. Send Chu Chi. Summon that out. Summon back out GG from the grave. Chu Chi up the level. And then overlay for M7. And then go ahead and drop Nib on that summon. And then pass over a token. So I know GG and Chu Chi, right? That's it. Chu Chi, that's it. Yeah, the, the GG was normal summon, so they don't know that. Yeah. And then set anti-spell Chuchi. And then Chinglong effect. That's going to banish to make... Uh, well, not to make Chuchi live, but to make it to where there's another banished. So that way... I, I guess, honestly, it doesn't... You don't really need to do that. But... Hmm... Not too sure actually why they did that. But they're going to set and then pass, draw Widow. Then they're going to flip Anti Spell here. Normal summon out Ray. And then turn Ray into a Hayate. Rose effect. Bring itself out. And then turn two into a Zeke. Banish the token. Battle phase poke. And then you're going to get that effect to dump area zero. And then Zeke attack directly. Main phase 2, make Kagari. And then Kagari effect, add back. They're going to add back area 0. And then set area 0, Zeke effect, go ahead and pop that. And then you're going to get that effect, the summon, summon out Rose. And then turn those into an Ingrisu. Uh, effect on summon. Uh, but they're going to go ahead and Chu Chi out that. Yeah, this, this, the effect of this on summon is mandatory. If this card is linked, summon draw cards equal to this, uh, equal to the number of World Chalice monsters this points to, even if you don't have anything. And then they're just going to go ahead and Chu Chi pop that in response. And then get rid of Rose for Shiz. And then set two, end phase, Shiz effect, searching out and engage from the deck to the hand. And then pass, draw called by. Also, also, <laughs> that was going to be a little cheesy. Just came up with this on the spot. But. If you want to like the video, I'd highly appreciate it. It would help with the engagement. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. So please don't dislike the video for that. Uh, that. That was nice, though. That was nice. That was a little combo. They're going to banish two for Shen Shen. Uh, bring itself out. Then they're going to activate Chinglong effects. They said, never mind. Oh, yeah, fair enough. They just don't have any engrave. Shen Shen attacks Shiz. And then they're going to get that effect to try to put back. Put back Nian. And then Ray bring itself out. Main phase 2. Chinglong effect. Target Ray. They're going to chain Ray effect. Or. So never mind. Yeah, that's good. And then Nian put back. We can see that that put back the Shan Wu. And then Chuchi effect. Target Ray. 
That's gonna out it by putting those two back. And then set called by pass, they draw strike. So they're just gonna go main phase, set pass, draw bell. And they can't really do anything here. I mean, they can poke. Battle phase attack. And then they're just gonna go ahead and pass turn here. Draw Ash, and then they're gonna activate Engage, Chain Widow, target Shen Shen. Normal Summon Out Ray. Then get rid of that for Hayate. And then Battle Phase Attack directly. And then activate the effect, dump Afterburners. And then Main Phase 2, turn that into a Kaina. Kaina, make it so that way Shen Shen can't attack next turn. Kaina into Kagari. Kagari effect, they're gonna chain bell to negate that, and then chain solemn strike to negate bell, add back afterburners, and then turn Kagari into a shiz, and then set afterburners, end phase shiz, grab area zero. Well, they can't grab area zero because they have one engrave. They don't catch that, no! <laughs> no! And then pass, draw GG. I mean, it doesn't really matter too much, but still. <laughs> No, GG, target Chu Chi. They're gonna chain Psalm Strike to negate that. And then Ching Long effect. That's going to banish GG, target Shiz. Says on my Shen Shen. Wait, what? So they activate Ching Long, banish on my Shen Shen. Okay, so they don't want their stuff to be banished. So then they're gonna Chu Chi pop Ching Long. But didn't they target Shiz there? Yeah, hmm, a little weird. Cause, I, Cause they're gonna go Chu Chi pop Ching Long. So that way they can go ahead and search. And then Ching Long effect, chain Ash Blossom, but they can chain Called By. I mean, they still gotta chain the Called By. <laughs> I Ashed. Yeah, chain, chain called by to that. And then Lulu effect, target Chu Chi, dump Ching Long. Go ahead and search from the deck to the hand. Thinking on the add, they're gonna go grab Kieran. And then Kieran effect, they do know both of these cards, so it's not like they have to like, you know, play around something that isn't there. And then Chu Chi up the level, go for Fan Fan. And then Fan Fan effect. And that's going to rip the Ray and Shiz, and they just submit the feet there. Holy, so this match so far has been 34 minutes long. Fair enough. So moving on to game three, the winner of this game three is going to be up $50, and the loser is going to lose $50. Cody Angeloff is going to get to decide. Comment down below, right? Comment down uh, in the, the, wow, I can't even talk. Comment down below right now who you think is going to win. Let's find out. So we are going to see Cody Angeloff decide to go first. And then opening hands, we have Rose, Bell, Foolish Goods, Upstart, and Jamming. All right. All right. Uh, not too crazy. Not too bad. Uh, they will have like a couple draws there. And then they have Gigi, Lulu, Roshi, Nian, Lulu. Holy, that's a lot of virtual world. And then Foolish Burial Goods, and Metal Fist Fusion, Upstart, Draw on the Widow. Metal Fist Fusion, put itself back, draw on the Widow. Okay, so the first Widow is just going to be a negate, and the second Widow is going to be a negate and take. Normal Summon Rose, and then go for Shiz, and then set some Widows, end phase, Shiz effect. That's going to go ahead and grab and engage. Pass, draw Called By, and then Normal Summon out Neon, so the Called By can like deal with the Bell. Then they're going to activate Lulu effect, summon itself out, dump Sean Wu, go grab City, and then overlay into a fortune tune. Alright, battle phase attack, and I do have two spells in graveyard, so it's going to be only at 200. They said, uh, yeah, I mean, that's definitely going through. And then summon Zeus, because, like, you can't even, like, target that if you wanted to. And then Zeus effect, chain Widow to go ahead and negate the Zeus. And then activate City. That's going to bring out Chu Chi from the deck. And then GG effect in hand. Target Chu Chi. Chain Bell. Chain Called By. And then that's going to summon itself out by going ahead and dumping uh, Kieran from the deck to the graveyard. 
And then Neon Effect bring itself out. Thinking you're going to get rid of those to go into a Stardust Charge Warrior. And then Charge Warrior, draw into a Qinglong. I said Sec. Do I know anything in hand? My fault? Nah. So they're going to go ahead and chain Widow to take. And then Roshi effect. That's going to send Tutu by targeting Chuchi. Summon that out. Summon back out Gigi. And then get rid of those. They are going to not get rid of those. Okay. They're going to Shan Wu. Summon out Kieran by discarding Lulu. And then overlay for M7. And then M7 effect. Add back Lulu. And then get rid of Lulu for Tutu effect. Summon that out. And then get rid of those. That's going to make Shen Shen, End Phase, GG, add back Lulu. Then now we'll go back because of Widow. And then pass turn, draw Ray. Okay. Uh, that is not bad. But it's also not like crazy. So, they're gonna go ahead and start off by turning Shiz into Kagari. Kagari effect to add back Widow Anchor. And then activate Engage. Chain Widow. It's gonna target Shen Shen. They're gonna take it. Accidentally put it back to the extra. But you know, go ahead and take. And then resolve Engage. Searching out Afterburners. And then draw into a Ray. Then get rid of Kagari and Shen Shen to make a Zeke. Zeke effect, banish M7. Afterburners, target Zeus. Then it's going to pop Choo Choo. And then Rose bring itself out with its effect. They're thinking here. They're going to get rid of Rose to go ahead and... All right. I want to see how long they were thinking there. Because it, it felt like I just ruined my finger by spamming that. Okay, so. Holy. Three minutes and 30 seconds. Told you, I felt it. I, I was just sitting there spamming it. <laughs> make Kaina. Uh, they make Ningrisu effect. Go ahead and send the Stardust Charge Warrior, and then Normal Summon Out Ray, attack directly, make Haina, or Hayate, I said Haina, <laughs> like kind of a Hayate, go ahead and attack directly, I mean that should be sent, and then dump, yeah, and then Hayate effect the dump, and then main phase 2, they're going to go ahead and for Shiz. And then set jamming waves, end phase, shiz effect, go grab shark cannon. And then activate shark cannon, get rid of shen shen, pass turn, draw neon. And then they, <laughs> they, they showed their top card, said GG, and then said, oops, didn't mean to do that. A little, yeah, at least it didn't show their back row, that would have been bad. Normal summon out Neon, and then Lulu effect, summon itself out by dumping from the deck to the graveyard. They are going to go ahead, send... There's so much thinking going on. By the end of this match, my right hand is just going to be like all buff and muscular. <laughs> so I can't run back immediately after this match, you good. I don't know that card, no, in hand. So they're gonna add Choo Choo and then dump Ching Long. I wanna see how long that took. I'm curious. So they activated Lulu. Five minutes later resolved it. <laughs> this is just too much thinking. Imagine, like, oh my gosh, I couldn't even imagine that. Like over three minutes per play, the match would end up just being turn one would end up being like an hour long. Go ahead, turn those into a juju. I have to go in like 10 minutes. Yeah, that's two more plays. And then juju effect. That's going to get rid of two, hit jamming waves. And then Qinglong effect. 
Go grab Roshi, discard Chuchi, and then Roshi effect, target monster, send spell, bring out Gigi from the grave, Nian bring itself out. And then, said I'm trying, it is hard. Yeah. It's not, like, super easy here. Uh, Chuchi to go ahead and make GG a level 6, and then go for Fan Fan, Fan Fan effect, hit Shiz and engage. Honestly, Cody, Cody definitely played this well by, like, Hayate dumping Ray. Just because, like, it, it would, like, help play around that and like a like an m7 i got like some people do play multiple m7 so like playing around this in m7 that was definitely good and then ray will bring itself out and then go battle phase beat over uh, ray effect tag out into kagari kagari effect add back widow anchor and then still just proceed to attack and they have uh, six spells in graveyard, so they're gonna take 300 there, and then 26 direct. And then end phase, they do get their uh, their monster back from the Zeke. Yep, Cody remembered it there. And then pass for Hornet drones. You're gonna activate Hornet drones, bring out a token, turn that into Kagari, Kagari effect, add back Widow Anchor, and it's just game. Double Widow, steal Juju and Fan Fan. And then go ahead, turn Kagari into a Hayate, normal summon out Ray, turn that into a Shiz, and then battle phase, Shiz beat over, because they do have a lot of spells in graveyards, so uh, this also makes it lose attack and defense. So go ahead, beat over, and then Hayate beat over, and then attack direct with both, and that's game. Yeah. Wow. Said GG's. Uh, do they say GG's? Wow. Said run back later, we can run back later, bet when later, I don't know, later, bet let me know. Fair enough. Well, if uh, if I can get that replay, also, I'll also post that replay, as long as it's a good replay, of course. But, I mean, I think this was a good replay, there was definitely a lot of thinking, a lot. <laughs> it's actually kind of insane, but uh, we, can, we can see how long this match was all together. Yeah. It's like an hour and 22 minutes long. That's just absurd, but, you know, with no time, uh, matches are definitely going to go that long, especially when people are taking, like, that long to think. But whatever. Uh, we do see Cody Angeloff win the $50 here, up 50. Evil Mermails down 50. Wow, Evil Mermails has been down bad recently. I'm not going to lie. I think, I think the last five wagers I've posted, including this one, has just been him losing. <laughs> That's actually wild. Uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe we gotta get him on Drytron or something. But yeah, it's just, just not 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 been good. Not been good. But uh, with all that being said, again, make sure to check out the competitive Discord down below at the top of the description. Uh, it's called the Coliseum. If you want to play in matches like these, uh, very competitive. You can play for literally any amounts you want to. You could play for ten dollars you could play for 20 50 100 500 thousand like there, there's always gonna be people up for it there uh, they're wild there uh so definitely definitely do that and again like this was new format you could play current format there our new format uh, personally like i'd play new format current format doesn't really matter anymore uh, new format's like really cool to see though I, li I like seeing new format definitely gonna get more new format matches up for you guys though uh, I've been uploading a whole bunch. I would appreciate it if you just like the video, and I'll keep on the grind. And with that being said, the DB Grinder signing off. Peace. Have a nice day.